Casey's are packed. You know what that means. Oh, come on. There we go. That's better. How much does she need for six days? Oh, best not forget breakfast. So as you saw before, it's very cold and very icy today. So it's probably going to be like that where we're flying off to, but hopefully it's going to be a bit more magical than Stoke-on-Trent. Better be. <laughs> so we're actually going to Disneyland Paris. The last time we went together was like 16 years ago. So a lot changed since then. I know they've got like the new Marvel Land that isn't very old, so Kev's really looking forward to that. Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> so when we first started looking at going to Disneyland Paris, we know, and we know it's been 16 years since we last went, but we couldn't believe how expensive it's gone for staying on site. It was just like so expensive. So we're actually going to be staying off site. So we've booked a hotel and flight package with EasyJet, and then we've had the part tickets separately. And like we say, for us, it's worked out a lot cheaper. But as we go, you know, take you along the, the travel day with us we'll go into more detail about prices and things like that and show you the hotel we're staying at that's the grounds and that look lovely yeah for and there's a shuttle bus so we haven't got to worry about getting to disney no but we'll like say we'll explain all that to you as we go along so we roughly we're, we're parking the car up about 10 minutes away from manchester airport and then um, getting like the little shuttle mini bus thing to the airport so then we're gonna go check we've left ourselves plenty of time we don't fly till 20 past two i'm gonna go, go go check in go through security all that malarkey but we'll bring you along for it so we'll see you at the airport a few moments later i think this is the case now with most of the easy jet flights as you check yourself in at one of these little terminals here so kev's just checking us in there those cases Trying. over hopefully not no this one's under we've got four and a half kilos <laughs> oh, in this one right okay yeah it's just that other one that's uh, maybe slightly over we'll we see if we not. can get away with it that's your bag too. kind of put it on there and hold it up a little bit as you where you can yeah now anyone else but is the hardest Two, bit trying to figure out three. and you take these sticky labels and put it on your suitcase Nightmare. <laughs> Kev's got it all wrapped round his hands. Right, so they might call themselves EasyJet, but it wasn't the easiest. We had a bit of my bit with getting the cases and making sure we were both checked in. They've both come on my name for the luggage tags, so we were a bit unsure. So, right, these are a bit of a pain in the uh, backside. So now we've just got to drop off these and get a drink. Right, there's always one, it's always me. I always forget to take my inhaler out of my bag, so uh, can't blame Stacy this time. Just, um, there seems Ooh, to steps, be a be massive, massive queue. Yeah, we are pulled down the steps. There seems to be a massive, massive queue for people leaving liquids in the bag and then you have to, like, uh, But a lot of liquids. Yeah, I don't know if they're really, really strict on it or they were just, I'm not sure. Like, but there was, was, like, I've never seen a queue like that before no, and there to was have a lady, bags, like, rechecked. There was a lady who had, like, three of those plastic bags you know the plastic bags they give you to put your liquids in she had three of those and they were like you can have one and she was like mm. like no you can have one so yeah always remember the little things and, and don't be that person this terminal one duty free is a bit busier than we like it because if you watch other travel videos you know we like a uh, <coughs> crafty spray of the old uh, samples we'll come back in a bit we'll come back in a bit little go we'll try there's no workers around them going in Oh, I actually like you, Good Boss Orange. I was going to say she hasn't yeah. even looked what she's picking up there. No, she I, just I, I picked one like up. So at Terminal 1, like, the main bits over here, like Burger King and the duty-free shops, and then, like, there's hardly any seating. You have to come past Burger King, there's a little bit of seating here, and then there's some gates down there. We might go for a walk down there, see if we can see a plane. We haven't got a gate number yet. Just for to try and find somewhere that's a bit yeah. quieter. We haven't flown from Terminal 1 for like a few years now. We've only ever flown yeah, once from once Terminal 1. And and that, was, from like terminal <laughs> that was like Covid Christmas. Yes, so there was yeah. nobody here. So we're going to have to go for a walk, try and find somewhere nice and quiet. 
Now we've been from like Terminal 2 and we've done that up a little bit. It looks a bit run down now. Yeah, it's Terminal a bit rough one. and ready Terminal 1 is. I'm ready, but on the plus side, we've just been the shop. Not what the plus side. Well, yeah, well, not price-wise, no. but for me, the airport always does grab bag crisps, so it's like the bigger pack, and I love salt and vinegar cooler roots, so I'm happy. Yeah. Dad isn't happy, because how much were they? They were £1.79 a bag. That's, that's terrible. Yeah, and it was three bottles of fizzy drink for a fiver. Yeah, so it, yeah. it's gone very expensive, so just yeah. beware. Yeah, we haven't flown from Manchester from since last April when we went Madeira, yeah. and like, prices have gone up. So there he is, the man himself, Mickey. Well, we're not going to see this Mickey, because this is the Florida Mickey. I wish we were going to Florida. <laughs> a bit warmer than Paris. We're going to go see the French equivalent though, so. Croissant Mickey. We'll the, yeah, croissant Mickey. <laughs> right, we're just getting on. Our EasyJet cheaper because you've always got to walk down the steps. You never go down the tunnel. Is that why they're cheaper? Because we've got to walk outside. Luckily, it's not snowy. It's not raining. I hope there's nobody sitting next to us. No. It's so loud. But well, we, we're re so. Uh, we haven't got a queue up like everybody else. So we're cool. Let's talk you through what we've got to do next once we've got through security and all that lot. Right, so that was pretty quick, pretty simple. Passport on the old electronic thing. I'm putting them away before we lose them. Don't lose them, don't <laughs> lose them. This airport looks really, really nice. Like walking through, getting off the plate, it looks really nice and modern. Compared to Manchester Terminal 1 anyway. Yeah. Well, we've got <laughs> Woody, very posh. So we go and get the bags and then figure out where we've got to go for the car. We've hired a car, by the way. Oh yeah, we'll we've hired a car. <laughs> we'll explain that as we get it. So we're just at the car hire desk. We've hired it with Europe Car, but there's uh, nobody here. So I don't know if it's self-assist or it's, what. It's go and uh, get your own car and pick up a Tesla. <laughs> so we're standing here like a pair of lemons. Lemons? Lemons. <laughs> and they've, um, yeah, it's closed. So where have we got to go? We've got to go to the cabin in the car oh. park behind. So let's go to the cabin. We didn't figure this out. Another person's just told us. Yeah, yet. we aren't that smart. We haven't got the sense to. We found it. So it's just in the car park. Kev's just checking us in there now. Avocari says before we. Uh, I'll just blame him now. Avocari says because it'll be easier than catching the train. It better be. It's not so far. What car are you giving us, Kev? Um. I don't know. I I ordered a Toyota Corolla and he says, I get there, he's like, you want big or small? I'm like, whatever I've paid for. I don't want a Fiat 500, I know that. So he says it's brand new, so we're going to play the game, okay? Which one beeps? Ooh, this oh, one. this one. Oh, that's bigger than what we paid for. Oh, what is he? He says a, a Toyota Summit Cross. Oh, Summit? that'll do. Oh, wrong way. You're in oh. France now, Stacey. Swap yeah. sides. Whatever side gets the suitcases in the boot quickly. Right, top tip as well, because nobody's come out to uh, look at damage. He says, check for damage, take any pictures. Always bring a light to check. <laughs> to check. Because you know, oh, it's snowing actually, by the way. But be for it. Be for it. But be quick, Kevin, it's freezing. Hey, camera's out, he's spotted a scratch. I only get in charged. They're only charging me my 500 euro excess. See, the light's coming handy. So can anyone understand French because he isn't starting as he can? No. <laughs> it's a keyless one. There's no key on it, but there's nowhere to put the key. And I've put my foot on the brake. What's it say? Because it's automatic. What's it say on the screen? Do I have to hold it? Oh, hold it. Is that doing anything? No. Let's get Google Translate out. Let's get a refund and go jump on the train. There we go. Change the settings to English. Press brake pedal and push power switch to start. Are you pressing the brake? Oh, come on, what have you done? Is it a hybrid? A what? 
I think it's a hybrid, so I think it's it's gonna start off on the the batteries. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? And the men test it. Let's test it. Oh dear. Seat belt on. We're gonna go flying forward and something in the men. Please the Drive. The when Please turn Ready? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's, oh. it's a hybrid, people. He didn't tell me. It moved. It, so it's hybrid. But I've never driven a hybrid, so this will be fun around Paris. So I think we're ready to head to the hotel now. Well, almost. Almost. We're making a little <laughs> stop before that. But like I said, we've had a car for easiness. Don't know how that's going so far, but no, you don't mind driving no. abroad, do you? No. And like I say, we're going to go to Paris for the day, and we're just going to. Uh, drive to Paris so um, it's cost £140 for six nights to hire the car the other option that we could have done was catch the train from the Charles de Gaulle airport yep. and it would have taken us to Mont le Valle Chasse which, which is, which is the yeah train station in Disney Village yes. and then we would have had to catch a bus or like an Uber taxi to the hotel so the hotel's a few miles, I think, away from Disney. Is it about five? Uh, I'm not sure about miles. Yeah. Like ten, it's a ten minute drive. So not so, too bad. So yeah, that's the only other option that we could have done. But it was just a bit bit easier on the last day to have a car as well because we check out early, but we don't fly till late, so we can drive to to somewhere, shopping centre or something. So yeah, it's cost um, a little bit more to hire the car than catching trains and Ubers, taxis, things like that. But like you say, we, we prefer it and you don't mind driving, do no, you? No, not at all. Uh, we're not using the car to, but we'll show you this. We're not using the car to go to the parks from the hotel because there is a free shuttle from the hotel to the Disney park. Whereas if we drove, I think Disney charged like 25 euros yes, it is to about park for the day. So day. we won't be using it for that. But it's a Sunday night now. It's about six o'clock and I think a lot of places are shut in France. Yes. Now, similar to back home on a Sunday. They so, shut about 12 o'clock, I think a lot of places oh, do, they do that on early? a Sunday, yeah. So that's another bonus of having the car, is we're going to try and find like a KFC or something like that. About halfway between the airport and the hotel, which is about 45 kilometres. Yeah. Um, so about halfway through, we're going to find like a KFC or something and have some, have some tea. Right. So yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Let's find out how we get out of this car park. With this easy car that we've hired instead of the train, because we like easy. We made it, <laughs> no problems, we, once we figured out that it was an electric vehicle. Well, there was a little problem, we couldn't find the exit off the car park. Oh yeah, there was yeah. that problem, yeah. Forget about that bit. <laughs> don't need to mention that, Stacey, we don't need to mention Oops. that. But no, we're at KFC now. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna. We're not doing a food review of this KFC, but no. it's in a lovely place. It's like a new shopping centre kind of place. Yeah. It's had a four and a half out of five on Google. That's why we <laughs> chose this one, because the other ones had like three and a half. But we just want something quick uh, there and was easy. A, uh, there was a drive-through, but we decided to go in. So I just said to Kev, we've got to try, if we go through the drive-through, like, it's just, they're not going to understand, darling. I no. said, we'll be like, look, upgrade it to large, not petty, give big small, and, give us the big one. Big and, yeah, whereas if we go on the touch screens, we can just order away, yeah, so, put yeah. everything large. I fancy a large. It's okay, so this has come for 30 euros, okay? Now, Nobody made us upgrade to special fries and have the extra large chips and have the two extra chicken tenders and the big burgers, but we did. Oh, I thought the machine said you had to have these. No, oh, no. my mistake. We're okay, in, if you say we're so. We're in France, we didn't understand. No, we're not going to do a taste test, obviously, but like, look at the size of Stacey's burger. She's had some big bacon barbecue crispy onion thing. <laughs> I've had a raclette one, because well, well in France we have some French cheese, and then there was cheese bacon loaded fries like I say the chicken tenders chicken tenders so I've already tucked him oh well <laughs> we'll, we'll leave you and see you in a minute so that got polished off we'll walk it off around Disney it's fine don't worry about it we're not so now we've got a 6.7 kilometer drive to the hotel so we'll see you there so we've just arrived at the hotel it looks lovely obviously it's dark so we can't really show you too much, but it looks like a really nice, nice like chateau-y kind of hotel. But this is the car park. There is loads of spaces, so don't worry if you're thinking like, oh, is there not many spaces if I have a car? There's loads, there's all that down there as well, so plenty of room. But we will show you uh, quick in the morning once it's brightened up the outside, because the grounds look stunning as well. So we'll show you around and everything like that properly. 
We forgot to mention as well, as well as the hotel itself, they also have, I think they, they class them as a villa. These like little houses, so you can have a private little house as well. Obviously they're a bit more expensive, but I know some of them do come with uh, conservatories and bit like that. So they look really nice, but it looks like a nice little new estate. If you look down there, it's like you've got your own little road and it's just like a housing estate with like a nice posh hotel. It could be like a golf course. Yeah, it is. Yeah, very like. It's just like very resorty into you like it's nice we will let you know when we get into the room like how much we paid for the hotel for the six nights that we're here right so we're all checked in now this hotel is gorgeous i mean like it looks so new oh i should have asked how old it was oh we've got a pool table but like it's just all funky they do do uh, they've got a restaurant if you want meals here They've got a Starbucks, what we've just seen, so you can have coffees and pastries. Uh, when we checked in just as well, we did have to pay a 34 euro, uh, what's it called? The city tax. City tax or something. We, we paid, paid that in Barcelona, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, it must be a new thing, is it? Maybe. They brought out, but yeah, so that was 34 euros, so if you come and just bear that in mind. And then just quick, so he's like the, well, it says they serve Starbucks, so I'm guessing it's like a little coffee bar, but look, they've got all like, pastries and donuts oh sandwiches so if you didn't oh, they might do pizza as well oh they do do pizzas there you go so if you want you can have 15 euro 15 euro margarita instead of uh, queuing up at disney and then i've just seen an arcade oh and stacy wants to go sit in the seat i won't fit in it after that kfc i know <laughs> i think it was made for kids i think it was made for kids you are a big kid yeah, so we've got an arcade, plenty of stuff if it's a rainy day and you come home from Disney early. So there's plenty of stuff to do. Yeah, they've got a bar. Oh, they've got football on. <gasps> Talking about football, I haven't looked at the scores yet, so I'm not going to do that. But they have, like I said before, they have got a restaurant where they do breakfast and evening meals. Doesn't look like there's many people in at the moment. So yeah, that's just there. So that's where you'd come if you'd book to have breakfast. Okay, just in the room now, we're going to show you quick, just to give you a rough idea of what it looks like and how big it is. So, uh, bathroom, nice little bathroom. Uh, we've got a bath, shower combo there, sink, mirror, toilet, we all know what they look like. Bed. I'm going, is that, is that a, a big queen or a king? To it's me. It's bigger than a double. It's, yeah, it might be a queen, maybe a king, <laughs> but you've got two breathing lights and stuff there. A couple of... Nice looking chairs here. They're actually, uh, I was just reading because the instructions are there, they're like two sofa beds, so they're like two, oh, well, they're like, two like pull out beds, yeah. Oh, so single so beds for kids. The instructions there tell you how you're doing it, yeah. As well as this, and this is a really good thing with stopping off site well, it comes with like a little kitchenette, so it comes with a microwave, your sink, it's got a Nespresso coffee machine, kettle, a hob, and then it sounds daft, I'm not good about that. That's a little dishwasher. There, got a, a fridge, good size fridge. It did open it, it's got a freezer as well. Kev did go around trying to turn all the lights on and he pressed on the rear next thing, something came, came crashing down. I was like, what, what was that? It's like the extractor thing <laughs> yeah. fell down. You thought it was a light, so he pressed it and the thing fell down. Yeah, but it comes with as well, all your like knives, forks, plates, spoons, bowls, everything. Cups. So you haven't got to bring anything with you. Just don't forget as well, in, in Disneyland Paris, you can take your own food and drink in. So obviously, you know, if you are on a budget and, you know, and you're a family and it's expensive in the parks to eat, you could make yourself a few sandwiches here yeah. to take in the morning, so yeah. Yeah, because I think roughly a kilometre up the road, it is walkable, there's a, I'm gonna butcher this, a car floor, a car floor, the supermarket, the big French supermarket. We're gonna go in the morning. Well, yeah, we're gonna go in the morning for get some pops and uh, you know some waters for the room and stuff. And then just behind Stacy, there's a you know a nice size wardrobe. It comes with hair drying and iron, so safe as well. And then the other side is just does for that, hanging. There's not loads of drawer space. No. To, oh, as well, because obviously them turn into the pull-out beds. They said this spare bedding was in here somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, got, like sheets and yeah. things like that in there. Then you got a little table there, even though I've just noticed it's a four, I was going to say a four berth, that's caravans. There's another chair Oh, there's another chair? Yeah. Well, I was going to say, it's, there's only four, three chairs. There's a chair, one of you's got to sit over there behind uh, you. Ah, and then there's a, a decent sized tally as well. Don't know if there's any English channels on it, but we're not going to be in a room to notice these things. 
Right, so Kev's just showing you around. So before we get into like the prices and things like that, so yeah, this is the Stay City Apart Hotel Mon La Valley. Yes. I think that's right. Yeah, so like we said at the beginning, really, it's been 16 years since we last come to Disney. And when we started looking at, oh, you know, we'd like go back again for a few days, we were just like really shocked at how yeah. expensive it was. And I always remember we came for a week the first time and we paid 450 quid for a week at the Santa Fe, including tickets. I can yes. remember that's how much yeah. it was for both of us. Yeah. So uh, it, there is, I was shocked at how expensive it is now and that's why we decided to do things off site. Mm -hmm. Because let's just face it, the money that we're gonna tell you in the men, uh, the prices of it, we're actually saving by one of us could then afford to go on a cruise in July. So yes. with, the, with the money that we're saving. Yes. So I know, you know, you're not stopping on Disney and you're not getting that full Disney experience that some of you may like. But to us, you know, it, you know, we doesn't bother us. No. Obviously as well, bear in mind that staying off site, you don't get the, I think you get one hour magic, magic hour. hour in the morning. So you get like an extra hour over other guests in the park. But like say, we're not too bothered about that. It's only the one no, hour. No, because so. the park's open long enough anyway. I mean, we're here yeah. in January and mm -hmm. the main park's open till Eight or nine? nine? Yeah, nine. No, eight, half eight. Half past eight. Half yeah, past eight, nine. I think the studios is half seven. Right. Yeah, so, so we get know, long enough. It's long enough as it is for long days, aren't they? But yeah, this was just to show you a, another option that was more budget friendly. But yeah. let's get... And obviously, sorry as well, I want to say with that, is you still get the free shuttle bus to the park, so don't worry about... From this hotel, From yes. this hotel, so even though it's not on Disney... Um, you still get the buzz but in the morning we'll show you where because we actually don't know ourselves so we'll show you in the morning yeah. what times the buzzies are and where you actually catch it from but bear in mind as well if you stop on disney some of their hotels you also have to catch yeah. a buzz to the parks like the santa fe is you it's either a you know a 20 30 minute walk i think they say or like a 10 minute yeah. shuttle ride so you're still technically catching a shuttle for that so yeah. you know there's pros and cons to stopping on site and off site and deep books for us personally we we're thinking about the money that we're going to yes. save so let's get on to the money now yeah so how much did we pay for this what we've paid so obviously we've already spoke about the car um so we'll leave that separately we'll just yes. talk about the hotel and disney tickets so we booked it through EasyJet Holidays, mm -hmm. so it was a package deal, and for the hotel and the flight... And the luggage. And the luggage, 23 yes. kilos luggage each. Yeah, it was actually quite a lot, yeah. it? it was Yeah, it was EasyJet for that. So it was £650 for the both of mm -hmm. us, for six nights in the hotel, and then the flight to and from um, Manchester. Manchester. Charles de Gaulle. Yeah, and then obviously back to Manchester. Yes. So... Um, like there was some other hotels, I think there was maybe 10 or 12 different hotels you could pick from. Yeah. There was some cheaper, mm -hmm. there was some more expensive, yeah. but this one seemed like, it seems a new hotel. Yeah, it's, it's, had, real, it's had really good reviews. Very good yeah. reviews. So yeah, we, we were happy with this one. Like I say, we, you could pick a cheaper one, mm -hmm. but yeah, we didn't have as good reviews. And then um, we then had to obviously, because we were staying off site, buy the Disneyland tickets on top. Now we yes. had these through Attraction Ticks. Yes, Ticks, T I X. T I X, yeah. yeah. And we had the, the most you can have with them is a four day pass. Um, these are park hopper passes. Park hopper passes, so yes. we can go between the two parks. These are selected dates, so we had to pick our first date. Yes, you can't just. They do. Yeah. I think it might be one or two day, I'm pretty sure it's one day. Uh, like a free pass where you can just go any day but that's very expensive yeah so the selected dates well obviously you know when you're here because you've got your hotels booked yeah exactly yeah <laughs> so we knew we wanted you know we wanted to come the monday tuesday wednesday thursday yes. with paris on the friday home on the saturday yeah. so that's how we did it mm -hmm. so i think we paid was it 400 pounds for the both of us for the smidge over for like maybe 402 pounds, pounds something yeah it was, it, was, like it was a couple of pounds it's a couple of pounds over so that was through yeah, so that was through um, Attraction Ticks. Yeah, and they just send you a, a QR, like an email. You, you don't get a physical card. You just print the email off or uh, you can just scan it on your phone, I'm guessing. Yeah, so the £650 for the hotel and flights and then the £402, whatever it is, yeah, for the tickets. Just call it 400 Yeah, so in total, it was £1,050 mm -hmm. for the six nights for the two hours. So 
Remember that amount, 1,005. Yeah, so then we went and had a look on the Disneyland website and see how much that was going to be. Mm -hmm. So he gave us three hotels to pick from. Obviously, the Disneyland hotel is closed. I think it's been refurbished. I think it's been refurbished. Not sure yeah. when that's going to be open. The Santa, Fe, the Santa Fe, which is the cheapest, was fully sold no, out because obviously it's the most budget friendly. Yeah, so, so it's it gave only us gave three us, options to, to choose from. It gave us the Marvel one, the Newport Bay one, and the Cheyenne. Cheyenne yeah. one. Now we've gone from, we're comparing the price with the Cheyenne one mostly because that's the cheapest available hotel. Yes. But that would be the same flights we've just had with EasyJet mm -hmm. uh, and your six nights in the hotel. Now yes. you get seven days Disney passes with this. Whereas we only had four, remember? So but, four to yes. We knew we wanted a day in Disney. So we'd be paying. Sorry, we yeah. knew we wanted a day in Paris. Of course, we're going in Disney. Yes. We pay for the Disney yes. tickets. So we knew we wanted a day in Paris. Mm -hmm. So that'd be a, a wasted day's worth of passes we paid for. And then the flights coming today is literally about eight o'clock now. Is he's called? Yeah, well, we've been through. KFC yeah, so and that, stuff, yeah, so that was a wasted yes, day. Really, obviously, exactly. we wouldn't have, you know, really made the most of the parts. He'd be nearly closed. Yeah, now. and then the last day, you know, but obviously you could go in the last day. Yes. but we're going to do some hotels that day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, for us, they would be wasted park passes yeah. we paid for. Now that came to £1,790. So a whopping £740 more than yeah. what we paid for this. For the same flights, four days Disney tickets and this nice hotel. Which we said there's another cruise that we've spotted and that literally pays for one of us yes. to go on that. So we kind of look at things that yeah. way and i think you know it's just it's a big difference isn't it that seven massive. hundred something pounds yeah. you know it's a massive difference it especially this day and age like say when things are how they are and bills oh, yeah, and, yeah. you know you then go in the disney parks and the restaurants are expensive the kids want the toys yeah. and stuff that the cakes pay. are expensive yeah. the drinks are expensive yeah. everything is expensive as you all see when you watch the disneyland vlogs hopefully yes but uh that's why we, like I say, chose to do it this way. Yes. You do it however you want to do it, okay? Yeah. That's completely up to you, well, okay? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone does what we're not saying not to stop on Disney. No. But if you want to save money like we certainly do, then yeah. that's an option. So, I mean, the last thing to show you in the morning, like you say, is the hotel looks like it's on really nice grounds. It's yes. got an outdoor swimming pool that it obviously we won't be using in the winter. No, it's like but <laughs> minus two I think at the moment outside. But we'll show you that and then we'll also like we said show you the buzz how to get that to the parks and then yeah, and where it drops you off. And yes and the time where you and get things. it yeah all that jive anyway. And then other than that obviously we're gonna be vlogging all the Disney parks when we go to Paris but that's you know the Disney stuff is whether you've stopped on site or off site. Yeah. It's gonna we're just gonna be showing you the parks. Yeah. So yeah so, We'll see you in the morning. Right, it's morning now. Bonjour. So as, bonjour. <laughs> so as we said, um, we'll just show you what it looks like outside. So uh, as you can see, got a big old lake behind us. And then uh, just over there, there's a swimming pool as well. Yeah, so like in, I bet in the summer it's so nice because there's loads of like seating yeah. outside. You could sit and have like your, a few snacks or like a drink and stuff. I bet it is really nice in the summer. Yeah, it looks a really nice hotel, like I say. Big old hotel. You can see it's all there, and then there's the little house is what we showed you a bit behind as well, the other side. Yeah. So there's plenty of room. But we're going to, uh, yeah, just show you this quick. Show you where to catch the free shuttle to the parks. Yeah. And then we're going to call it a day for this video because then we're going to hit the parks. Yes. And then you'll see all that content and other more videos. So, yes, make sure you hit that subscribe button Definitely. to see that. So, exactly. yes. Exactly. So just there's the restaurant what I showed you last night. So there's a seating out here. All these double doors look like they open up. So in the summer you could eat your breakfast out here. Like I said, lake. Don't know if you can go fishing. Maybe you can ask. I doubt it. Uh, there's your pool. We'll probably the get in tonight after the parks. Yeah, yeah. Never like a fresh yeah, or yeah. something. Well, that, that's all the rage nowadays. This cold plunge. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 But there's loads of they're all stacked up at the moment. There's loads of deck chairs there, so they put them all out. I reckon it's really nice here in the summer. If we had a spare day in the summer, like yeah, fr from the park, nice. break it up, it'd be nice. So I can see someone at the window. Now, what we forgot to show you in the room last night is like the doors. Are they like French doors or something that open? The, they're not doors, but the windows. The like, huge yeah, windows. Yeah, like huge windows. And like you can stand. You've got like a good view if you've got like a pool view. I think you have to pay extra for that. Probably you always like have to pay extra view. for these yeah. views. We've got a car park view, but anyway, the windows open and you've got like a little terry thing not like a terry but you can look out yeah you know what i mean 
just pan over a window Kevin show them what I mean I'm making this hard work so if you remember last night we're just going to show you this quick uh, we said about I think it's 700 meters up the road in a car there's a car floor market just over there in the middle now for 17 euros we have had uh, 24 little bottles of water eight full-size yeah cover them up eight <laughs> full-size cokes a big coke for the room and then some little donuts and two big pastries so all that for 17 euros so that's another reason if you haven't got a car to stay off site on Disney because I bet in Disney we couldn't get four cokes for 17 euros never mind all of that so we're just waiting for the shuttle now you get it literally right outside the reception we're just waiting in here because it's pretty cold so uh, once it comes we'll jump on it well, I've got the times as well I'll put them on the screen now for you if you want to see how often they are going to and coming back from Disney all right so the buzz is here you can't miss it it's bright yellow and it says stay, stay city on it there you go so you'll know which hotel buzz to get on the way back right it's okay we're off now dead easy less than 10 minutes yes yeah so I know this buzz is blocking it <laughs> it's just behind there somewhere yeah that little yellow buzz that you can just about see in a second is where we got dropped off that's where you will get picked up station bus station P so really easy now obviously there was room for us on the bus you know we managed to get on I don't know what it'd be like if you came at busy times no so the only other options are you could if there's a few of you we saw a few doing it just from our hotel you could grab an uber i it's think it's about 10 ish 12, 10 to 12 euros it says so, so if there's four of you it's not too bad is it two and a half quid and then the only other option is go out of the hotel go right up the road a little bit and then not at, too far not too far no at the bus stop catch the number 34 bus it brings you to here for yeah. two euros each so yeah. that's another option yeah. as well but yes that's it Gonna love you and leave you now because <laughs> we're right next to the park, so we're gonna go jump in there, get on some rides. Yes. So, if you've liked this video, give us a like. Yeah. Please subscribe. Leave us a comment. Have you stayed at this hotel? Are you coming to Disney? Yada yada yada. Yes. Anything you wanna know? Anything? Yeah. Just ask us. So we're. I'm we're, so excited yeah. going now. It's cold. <laughs> so I need to put this camera away and put my gloves on. So we're gonna love you and leave you. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see, see you in the next from, video. Yeah, from Disney. Yes. Bye. Thank you.